Hello guys. We're gonna try for whiting again. Not a lot else going on. I tried to catch some trout earlier. I couldn't catch any trout. Paul can't fish yet on the boat because of his foot. So I'm just trying to get out here and wet a line and enjoy myself. It's a beautiful day. It's just a touch, touch windy. But I think, I think I can catch some white. Try to use two rods. If the bite's good, I won't need two rods. Uh oh. Okay, there's a problem. On the Carolina rig. Got one drop rig out and one Carolina. That's a pretty good one. Not bad. Not bad. Nice fat guy. One to one. One on the drop, one on the Carolina. Now where I'm fishing, there's kind of a hump right here. I'm sitting on a hump and the current's coming in this way. So I'm on the opposite side of this hump. Just throwing pieces of uh, shrimp, small pieces. There you go. the drop rig. The drop rig's where you got a weight and then a little line with a hook so it sets up off the bottom and the Carolina rig has a sinker and a line and a hook so the hook is more on the bottom. So, so far both of them are working. They're hitting it pretty good like they want it. And I'll just get a little bitty piece of shrimp and a little, about a one out circle hook. You can use other hooks, but I like a circle hook. And that's probably 14 or 15 feet of water out there. And I'm sitting in about 13. And sometimes you have to, uh, you know, reel it and keep it moving. And sometimes you can just throw it out and let it sit. I mean, it just depends on how aggressive they are or how they want that bait presented. But so far, these guys don't mind if I just throw it out there and let it sit. And you wouldn't think those fish that are that small would hit something that hard and bend that pole over, but they do, boy, they, they, they slam it. Whiting hit hard. They just don't have a real big mouth like a trout. Another one on the Carolina rig. He slammed it. Now these are good to eat. I'm just not keeping them because I got fish in the freezer. Once I eat up that fish in the freezer, then I'll clean up a bunch more. I'm 
might have two on at once here. I did, that one came off. This is a fun, like if you want to take your kids fish in and you can get on these, this is a really fun, it's fun to catch them. I like to catch anything. I like to catch fish. But now I'm gonna have to reel them both in because that one definitely came off of that other pole. I think it might've been on there a while. There's the Carolina rig, a weight, a line, and then a hook. We'll throw this one out and then get that other one in. Not a big one. But I caught him. Okay. Got a little guy. Alright, got everything retied. You really have to pay attention because you got those little pieces of shrimp on there. So you get a lot of uh, bait stealers. Fish on that one. I didn't even see him hit it. I just started to reel it in to check my bait. And there was a fish on it. Sometimes these guys are tricky. Little one. So I'll check my bait on the other one too. One of the poles has braided line on it and one doesn't. The one with the braided line, if you get any kind of hit, you can see it. The one with just a regular monofilament line, you really have to kind of pay more attention to. Because the monofilament stretches and the braid doesn't. good one on the Carolina rig again not bad not bad at all and it's not just one you know one right after the other but it's a steady bite and then a lot of times they'll hit it and I don't catch them you know, they might be smaller or something. But you know, if I'm not catching trout and I'm not catching redfish, I'm not a trout and redfish guide. It ain't like I gotta just keep fishing and fishing and fishing until I find them. When I can come out here, you know, in the spring like this, or the, you know, late winter, and uh, catch these whiting. Why not come out here and catch fish and enjoy myself? Instead of trying to chase those other ones down, I'm not in a tournament or something. Feels like a pretty good one. Not uh, bad. They have a pretty kind of a purplish color to them in the sun.
seem to be getting smaller. Not a bad one. Smile for the camera. Whoa. He wasn't smiling at all. I'm looking for whiting that have a little star power, if you know what I mean. Carolina rig is smoking the drop rig today. For whatever reason. You can tell they eat on the bottom because their mouth is on the bottom. This makes sense. Those are fish that feed on the bottom. I'm no fish and game biologist, but I'd figure that out. That is going to be the end of today's fishing. I just can't get on. I'll catch a trout here, one trout there. I can't get on any kind of pattern with them. Uh, let's see, the water temperature, because we've had a couple of cool nights. So let's see if we can figure out. The water temperature is down to 64, uh, and it previously was up to like 68. So. We've had that fall in the water temperature. I don't know where these fish are right now, but I know where the whiting are, so why not catch the fish and you know where they're at and have a good time. And I had a good time today, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all, and come back. Watch us again on Nichols Retirement Empire.